Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you the products that I regret buying recently. Um, there's just a few of them. Um, it's not very often that I buy like you know a lot of products at one time that I end up not liking so it's kind of these have accumulated over the time so it's not you know things I bought just this week but um yeah I'll go ahead and get started one is a um, Maybelline uh, lip gloss this is Watershine Volume XL and uh, plumping effect tingling sensation gloss this is in fuchsia up the, one, the thing that I don't like about this particular um, lip gloss is the texture of it. It's extremely sticky. Um, the tingling sensation part, it's not one of those lip tinglers that are over the top or overwhelming. So that part's okay. Um, but it is really sticky. And because it's sticky, it doesn't last um, a very long time, I would say. Yep, yeah, that's one of them. I did purchase this in uh, in Italy. Uh, the next item, I it's kind of weird. I love C and D products. They do as far as nail product goes for acrylic, for uh, the gel product, their UV lights, those kinds of things. But their nail polish is extremely lacking. I actually think I heard that they're discontinuing their nail polishes because they can't really compete with the other brands that are out there that are really good right now. This is um, Company Red in number 193. What I don't like about this is that uh, you apply it to your nail and it doesn't chip, but what it does do is the whole nail polish color rips off in one piece. So like it'll flake up and then you rip it and it's like, well you have to rip it. Anyways, it peels off. It's very um, annoying to say the least. The color is very, very pretty. So I was really, really upset when it didn't last that, that well. And when I say it didn't last, it was like the next day it peeled off. And gum, uh, <laughs> tongue twister. The next uh, product is this um, lip balm, Top Care Medicaid Lip Balm. It is so dry. I don't know how this is a lip balm. I really don't. It's. I don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Next product is, um, okay, I got these at Walmart and I got these before I left. I went to Walmart and I just bought a ton of things that I knew I couldn't find in Italy, like a backup of the CoverGirl Lash Blast, some um, really fun eyeliners, um, just random things, but I came across these two products by CoverGirl, and it's the exact eye lights. And these two products are supposed to be for brunettes. This is a uh, mascara, and the wand was white, and um, when you dip it in to the mascara, it's obviously black now. The formulation in this, it's very... Uh, hard to work with and you put it on and you're like okay it's supposed to make your eyes brighter and more awake um, but what it actually ended up doing for me was just flaking so <laughs> I don't like this at all I really, it, and it flakes with only in a few hours it wasn't like at the end of the day or anything like that I don't know I just feel like it's a waste of money and I would just stick with Christian Dior Iconic or the CoverGirl Lash Blast. The CoverGirl Lash Blast doesn't even compare to this. So, yeah, Black Pearl is what, what that is. Then it, I got the eyeliner that went with it. And it's the Brightening Liner in Vibrant Pearl. And it says Vibrant Pearl, but it's, it's a black eyeliner. It's, that's what it is. It doesn't work. It, it's not very opaque on the eye, especially on the waterline. Um, it's just silly. It was a waste of money. There are way better eyeliners out on the market than this one. The next one's an eyeliner too. Um, I'm not sure if I just got the bad a bad bunch, like the bad pick. Um, I was really hesitant to buy it because it wasn't sealed. 
This is Annabelle's Limet um, eyeliner. The this wasn't sealed. I could tell it hadn't been used. I got the one in the very back. I always get very weirded out by products like that. But it's a smudge liner, and I wanted it because it's lime green. It's a very interesting color. Um, there's the color on my hand. The only problem with it is it's just it doesn't show up on my my eyeline my eyelid. Sorry, can't talk. So I don't know. It's cool. It comes with a little smudger, but it just the the color payoff when you actually apply it, not so great. So yeah, um, I did get the darker one in um, sea green, and I like this one a lot. So that one wasn't bad, but the the lime matte one didn't really work out that well for me. But yeah, that's the uh, few products at the moment that I have regretted purchasing and I hope it was very informative and that it helped you guys out um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!